Hey guys and welcome to yet another Dark Souls 2 video. In my ongoing quest to beat Dark Souls 2 in this blind let's play. And uh, last time around we paid the... Uh, oops, I almost fell down there. That might have been bad. I don't know. No, most likely not. We did pay the... As I was saying, we paid the chapel a visit last time and uh, beat the crap out of some seemingly religious guys. And I don't know what they were selling, but I wasn't buying it. So yeah, that was a pretty easy boss fight. And um, I actually stopped recording and then I discovered this. There's actually a bonfire over here. So I actually sat down at it, but I have not proceeded any further. I haven't walked down this staircase and we are going to do that eventually. But first we have some other things to attend to. Uh, primarily, as you can see, I've got 97,000 souls, which is quite a great deal more than I had at the end of last episode. And that is because I've been farming at the Rotten Boss Fight, I think it's called, yeah, the Rotten, in the Black Gulch area. And I've been farming for some souls because I want to have my sins forgiven. I want to go up here and have a chat with Cromwell. And I'm not sure if there's any similarities between this guy, this Cromwell, and the British historical character, I <laughs> have no idea, but this guy will apparently uh, pardon sins. And I managed to, quite accidentally if I may add, add uh, hit one of the NPCs in the head with a couple of arrows and he didn't take very kindly to that. So I want to try and see if I can get that NPC to become friends with me again. So let's see if we can make this happen. You. you can ask for pardon, but this guy is ripping you off. He wants 87,000 souls to have my sins forgiven and I really hope this will work Cromwell otherwise I will come back and uh, we should we should we will have to talk a bit about this but let's do this. Your sin was forgiven. All right fine. Your sin has been that's great. Appreciate it. May your contrition be sincere and enduring. Well, you know, it was a mistake and all that, so, uh, <laughs> right. We must never forget our sins. This place looks like it might contain some secrets, but I will have a look into that later on. But right now we are going to return to the bonfire and then we are going to warp to the shaded forest because over there is the NPC I've been talking about the uh, scorpion things scorpion king I don't know the guy that I accidentally shot in the face a couple of times so let's see if he's forgiven me and yeah here's the dude I was talking about and uh, he seems to have forgiven me which is good because I just spent 87,000 souls yeah to have that happen, so that is good. You're a rip-off Cromwell, but yeah. Oh, come on, I wanted to jump there. I don't want to... Oh, come on, jump. Thank you. We are going to go down and see what happens here. I don't think I can talk to this guy because he's... Uh, I don't think I understand his language. Yeah. So, I think pretty much... I'm gonna have to get hold of a ring of some sort, I kinda think, maybe. And I'm just gonna show you what happens down here. It's not really much. There's just one of those Rasta lions down here. I think this one might be slightly different. And I wanted to backstab you there. Couldn't quite get that to work. Ah, don't you be cursing me, mate move away from the wall please because I want to get a clear shot at your back here oh god damn it sometimes I just cannot get the backstab in on these guys how about now yeah freaking finally so he's toast and there is an item down here and I can't remember what that is torch well that's nice <laughs> And there's a message over here. I'm, I bet it's going to say illusory wall ahead, right? Uh, as far as I know, no. There's no wall, illusory wall over here. You can, however, go outside here. 
and unpetrify this individual and uh, I don't have to do that because I actually jumped over here from over at the bonfire so it's not necessary to spend a branch of yore and if we look down here we see the foggy forest and the severed head is down there you remember the guy that we talked to that was just a head yeah he's down there and there's also what looks like a ledge over here that I haven't been able to walk I keep falling down so I'm gonna assume that there's nothing here but I might look into that eventually we are gonna go back to the bonfire so see you over there and I have another thing I wanna check actually but we'll talk about that when we get back to the bonfire now what we are gonna do we're actually gonna go over and have a look at that petrified Rastafari over there because I have a feeling that maybe there's something good waiting for for me over there if I unpetrify him and we are just gonna run over here and destroy this port now I'm not sure this is a good idea but there's just was this one petrified Rastafari lion standing around it I don't think there's anything he's actually guarding I can't see any any way to move on from here but we are gonna try and waste a fragrant branch of your nonetheless see what happens maybe there's something good maybe he's an NPC maybe he's peaceful no I'm gonna guess not <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess not he didn't like me for some reason but we are gonna kill him maybe something interesting will happen oh well, what, what do you know I get a key the fang key what might that be let's see I'm gonna guess it's that key right a key shaped like the fang of a beast what manner of dilettante would create such a key and what might it unlock? Well, I don't really know, do I? But I do have a theory about that because if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a door that we haven't been able to open. So we are going to try and go and do that. And I can't get in it, get in there from this way, right? No, I can't because it's in there. Guarded by about 58,000 basilisks oh hey man how you doing I can't quite hit their back with a clean enough attack it is ah, that didn't look like that was a kosher backstab but all right fair enough I suppose and this guy we're gonna have to kill him as well I suppose Don't get up, stay down please, thank you. Now, we could fall down here because the doorway is down there actually and uh, this is a terrible idea because there's just a ton of basilisks over there. So we're actually gonna, oh god there's so many of these guys. Can I fall down there without having these guys pestering me? Please don't fall down, guys, because that could create a bit of a problem for me. Good. And the old dude in the wheelchair is gone, which is kind of interesting. I don't know where he went. I'm pretty sure we're going to run into him again eventually. I think he taught dark spells. We're going to try very freaking hard at avoiding getting... Uh, touching these pools of whatever it is because I think that is bad news for our, for us for our equipment if nothing else and here's basilisk number one. Oh crap we are just gonna run away from this place because I don't like it and then we might just oh crap oh no don't don't run into that pool of crap All right, there we go. Hope I didn't damage my armor, but we'll find out, I guess. And there's, I think, three more of those. Oh, shit. I keep running into these pools of acid. 
And I can hear you guys. I can hear you. And I'm running out of arrows. No, don't be freaking breathing that crap in my face. No. Don't you even be dreaming of it. There's a good basilisk. Just sit down. Sit down and die. And there might... Yeah, there's at least one more. If not, maybe two. But you know what? I'm going to do this. And there's one more, of course. Hey, man. Take that. Now, let's see if it was worth the trip. This door is actually openable. And I do believe I see something moving in there, which I, I don't like. Can't really hear anything, though. But, yeah, let's see what's behind this door. Yes! It... Oop! Fuck! What the hell? No, not these guys. No, 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 no. I remember you as well. I hate these guys. I can't lock on, though. Aren't you an NPC? I've already attacked one by mistake, so I'm just gonna... Ah, yes, it's an NPC. All right, good. Freaking excellent. Let's pick up this item. Oh, yes, thank you very much. And that's all there is inside of this room? One crow lady. All right, let's see what she's got to say then. Thank you for helping me. I am Ornifex. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Thank you, kind traveler. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Thank you. I believe... Yes, I, uh, I'm sure you could be of assistance, but where exactly is your home? Down the way isn't terribly helpful. But, yeah, I want to find out what this lady is going to give me. So, we can just assume that she will be somewhere in this area. I'm just going to have a bit of a look around. We're going to return to the bonfire. And sit at it, and I think that will hopefully trigger her to move to wherever it is she is supposed to be moving. Let's have a bit of a look around, shall we? Yeah, guys, I couldn't find her, so I actually looked it up in the wiki and it said that she goes back to her home in the Brightstone Cove area, which is pretty much where we just came from before, previously, where that cathedral was at. So uh, we can just, well, go back there, right, and have a look. And uh, we do also have another thing. As you may remember, I did have some problems with the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the boss, the the freaking humongous rat dog thing in the Pharaoh's Stone, Pharaoh's Doors area, sorry. Uh, and I had a bit of a think about that, and I actually kind of, that, that fight actually reminded me a bit about the Dark Souls 1 fight, the Capra Demon. And if you play Dark Souls 1, you know what I mean, that boss fight isn't particularly hard. Um, or the boss itself isn't particularly hard, I should say, but he's got two pet dogs, which are freaking annoying, especially considering the fact that you pretty much fight them or fight them inside of a closet. And until you get those dogs to die, that fight is a pain. And I get the same vibe from this boss fight, that I'm going to have to kill those dogs pretty damn quickly, and I'm thinking the best way for me to do that is to kind of use my bow. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some upgrades to my bow and I'm also going to try some different types of arrows and I'm thinking maybe fire arrows would be a pretty good idea or maybe magic arrows. So we're going to give that one shot and see if we can get that to happen. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back to Medulla and do some bow upgrading. So see you over there. So yeah, let's see, reinforce my bow. I think I can do that one or two steps at least. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Here it is, it's plus five right now and we could take it 
Ah, uh, we could take it up one step, I suppose. I don't have the very many large titanite shards, though. And we could put them to better use, but I'm going to do one level anyway. Hopefully that will make a difference. And we could also buy some more arrows in general, because I think that could be good. And I don't think he's got any... No, he's just got bolts, and I've bought all the iron arrows. That's a bit of a shame. We're going to buy some ordinary ones, maybe not 900, but we could buy like, say, 80 ordinary arrows. I'll be around. <laughs> and let's just go back here. And now, hang on, we're going to do some leveling up, I think. And also, I think I got an Estus Flask shard, so let's do that. Upgrade the Estus Flask, yes. Please do, by all means. And do, let's do some leveling up as well, why not? We could, I suppose, do some more... Some more vitality, I think might be a good idea actually, because I... I was actually fat rolling when I had a certain combination of rings on, so I'm just going to do one level of vitality. Hope I don't get to regret this, but yeah. <laughs> And we still have some more money. And I most likely will die, so why not buy some other stuff? Yeah, I'm going to edit this out, so see you when I'm finished shopping. Honey. All right, the shopping spree is over now. I've just got 17 souls, and I can live with myself if I should lose them. So let's go back to the Pharaoh's Door area, which I think is here, and go to the Ordeal's End Bonfire. Well, let's see if we can get this to work, and we are gonna equip some stuff here and unequip some other stuff. Let's see what we got here. We can do... Yeah, we're gonna equip my fire arrows. I think I've got 20, yeah. Hopefully that should do the trick. And I think the rest is just fine. We could remove the stone ring, I suppose, and equip something else. Maybe something useful. We could equip the Ring of Restoration, I suppose. Not that it's going to do much difference, but yeah, let's just do it anyway. Let's just check if I'm rolling okay. Yeah, I am. All right. Let's just prepare ourselves, and hopefully I can kill the dogs with one shot, because I think that's the kind of thing I need to do. Kill the dogs with one arrow each. Hopefully I will have enough time before the dogs, uh, freaking dog arrives. Ah, uh, there goes nothing. The good thing that I kind of missed when I fought them last time is I can actually uh, target them from this distance, which is really, really good. Let's see. Oh shit, it actually worked. That is good news. That is good news. That is super good news. Hopefully this will be a lot easier. I'm not going to lock on because this guy is a bit of a pain to actually hit if you're locked on, I think. Doing okay damage, I think. No, 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 no. I did read a message about his rear, that you should try and stay, you know, behind him, which seems to be working fairly well, I think. Okay, that, that was bad. But hopefully I should be... have enough time to heal. Let's do some decent stam stamina management around here. And I still don't think this looks like a rat. It looks like a freaking dog to me, or maybe it's just some caught. Yeah, maybe it looks a bit like a rat, I don't know. Oh shit. Can't really see much. It's still kind of difficult to see what I'm hitting here, but this is going a lot better this time. Yeah, jeez. Oh shit. big annoying freaking dog rat thing 
We can hate you. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't. I can never see his freaking <laughs> his freaking legs there. His hind legs. I almost freaking missed them. Ah, oh, you fucking dog thing. Ah. Oh, that was the wrong way to ju to jump. And then I locked on by mistake. Don't want to do that. And I want to heal. And I freaking miss again. Just stand still. For oh, that attack is so annoying. Oh shit, what's that? Don't like that. I'm going to see if I can have the time to heal before. Is it pissing himself? I don't know what that is. I do not want to find out either. Oh, God damn it. Oh, thank God, you annoying rat dog monster thing. Ugh. Royal rat authority soul times one and another rat, rat tail. That is great. Now, that wasn't so hard, was it? But with those dogs alive, with those pet dogs alive, my god, this boss fight was just a pain. Oh, that felt pretty damn good. I don't know how many times I died to this guy last time, but it felt like 28 million, but maybe, maybe not, maybe five times or something. I don't really remember. But it was an incredibly frustrating boss fight. And then we come out here which I kind of expected and then we can go in here what's in here oh hello mr. rat king I presume how are you doing thou returns I am not unkind shouldst thou forbear thy ways audience shall swear it no 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 not interested no deal not buying what you're selling and I'm guessing we are kind of returning back to yeah we return to where uh, we kind of entered this area, so yeah. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I actually got that boss. He's dead. I feel good. I feel happy. <laughs> I think this is an excellent time to actually end this video. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs>